Okay, hopefully. Bring it down a little bit. No. Okay, thank you. For the Lord's name, the merciful benefactor, the merciful redeemer. Praise be to Allah, the Lord of all the sisters of knowledge, mind and blind is he. We beseech his help, guide us, mercy, pray for his forgiveness. We're searching a partner with him. Put all our best is the sinners, his companions, will follow that noble salutation. Once again, I reach you, Salam alaikum. We're thankful to uh, the mosque cares, to his president, and then Muslim Muhammad II, for allowing us to be a part of this program. We pray to Allah when it's over. Those of you who are not part of Marvel, you will hurry up and join. We have a saying that all gave some, some gave all. And all that gave some are those who served, and some that gave all are those who gave their lives. And Muslims have fought in every battle that America's fought. Muslims have been involved. I joined Marine Corps at 17, right out of high school, for rental percent. Six months training, 30 days leave, turn 18, and three weeks later I was in Vietnam. Served 13 months, five days short of a flight date. I was seriously hit in the area we call Quezon. I received a Purple Heart and two President's New Citations. And the way veterans were treated when we first came home, I got so fed at one time, I threw my medals in the trash. My uniforms and everything. And my wife happened to see me do that. And she went and got the medals out of the trash. But uh, with the Imam Muhammad's spirit of New World patriotism, uh, he gave me a, a hope that what I did was not in vain. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, who many veterans coming out of war, that Vietnam era, that was a wound. If you don't realize it, if you came home from war and you joined the nation of Islam, Allah just sent us there to protect us, to keep us from doing something crazy, to, forget, to keep us from becoming extremists, to keep us from becoming some of these crazy people telling we will declare war on America with all these arms and tanks they got. Allah just protected us in the womb of the nation of Islam. And the honorable Allah Muhammad, he made it even more discreet. He said, don't even carry a weapon. Don't even carry a knife. If you catch him with a weapon, if you catch him in trouble, they got a card, take the card away from him and put him in jail. So this kept us really, and we didn't know it, but those of us who can reflect upon that reality, it kept a lot of veterans from getting killed or from going to jail. We really did. So we have an eight-prong uh, approach to our purpose, but we want to recognize the three founding members. Dr. Chris Bell, Muhajid Muhammad, and Talib Dean Abdul Wakil. In 1997, they, these three brothers established Marvel, based upon that world patriotism dynamic. I'm fortunate enough to be the, the quartermaster, and, uh, you know, people make jokes about Marines. And they say, we're the first to take the hill, then we get to the top of the hill, we, for, we remember we left our rifles at the bottom. <laughs> you know, we go up to the door and we try to kick it in and tear it down, and army come behind us, they just turn the door knob. But we're the first in battle. Big horse of gold. First in battle all the time. So I've heard all kind of jokes from Special Forces, from Navy, from Airborne. We hear all kind of jokes, but all gave some or some gave all. That's what's important. If I could just do a little historical review uh, for a few minutes. Uh, if you remember a picture called the Big, the Big Picture, used to come on in the 50s and 60s, and they showed the ending of the war with Japan, World War II, this trolls were walking down the street. And you never saw any African Americans. At the end of that parade, there was a group called the Triple Nickels, 555. They are the original smoke jumpers. When we were fighting Japan, Japan was sending hot air balloons to America. But Americans didn't announce it because they didn't want Japan to know that the balloons were reaching America. They launched some 3,000 balloons, and 1,000 balloons reached America to set America on fire. It was the Triple Nickels, 555, an all black airborne group. They didn't want an enormous air bomb, so they trained them to be smoke jumpers. They are the original smoke jumpers. They put out over 300 fires. One of them lost his life because his chute got caught up in a tree. So at the end of that war, when they had all those soldiers marching, they had the triple nickels at the end. But you never saw the triple nickels because when they got to the cameras, they cut the cameras off. Racism, once again. In Vietnam, we were 50% of the men in the field, yet we were 20% of the American population. Racism, once again. Navy, cooks, 
and janitorial became Navy Sea divers. Tuskegee Airmen, 15, 17, 18 years old, told they couldn't do it, and they became some of the best pilots in America's military history. So, you know, you connect with that history. Marvel connects with that history. You know, we're carrying that, that banner forward. So I would encourage each of you to study the history of African Americans and Muslims in particular in the military. And you'll see they have a dynamic contribution, a dynamic history that they've given to America. So our commitment, praise be to Allah, the merciful benefactor, the merciful redeemer, we glorify him and we thank him and we testify that there is no God except him and we resolve to establish an organized Muslim Veterans Association henceforth referred to as Muslim American Veterans National Marvel or the association to meet the, to meet the needs of American Armed Forces for all service veterans, their spouses, orphans, and legal dependents. We resolve to adhere to the tenets of faith with a moral compass affecting the actions of the association. Now, we're open to all veterans, male or female, but we let all the veterans know that we stand upon the Quran. We stand upon the Uswa, the conduct of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and we stand upon the leadership and Tafsir Imam Wafi Muhammad. And there have been some we've had to tell, you know, you can go your way if you don't like that, because some didn't like that. We say, well, this is who we are, you can accept it or you can leave. So we, this is Mark, our motto, in service to God, country, and those men and women and their families who have served. Many Muslims are veterans, and the idea of becoming a full service organization is to help Muslims get some benefits. Help your children get some educational benefits. Help your spouse get benefits after you decease. Insurance benefits while she's alive. So don't be hung up on, a, on, a, on, a, on an appeal, or don't be hung up because you, maybe you've been turned down. Keep the process going. Go to your congressman, go to your senatorial representative, and say, hey, I need some help with this paperwork. I got problems that are systemic to the military, and they're denying me benefits. One individual just received $450,000 back pay. Because from the time you apply, your application is retroactive. So don't never give up. Always appeal and appeal and appeal and appeal. We have an A-star prong approach. One, to honor law, God, and country by our commitment to serve others that have served in the United States Armed Services who are upholding the tenets of Al-Islam and the Constitution of the United States. To provide American veterans with information and updates concerning their rights and their benefits. And the benefits are sitting out there waiting on you. No one's going to come and tell you to come get them. You've got to go get them. To provide American veterans with information and updates concerning their rights and benefits. To aid veterans in obtaining veteran benefits by some members of the association becoming veteran service officers. Veteran service officers is one who knows the language, the psychological language. You can't write your own appeal because you get emotional, you get angry, you get upset. But, but if you know the psychological language they're list, looking for, they can't deny you. If they deny you, they got to go back and deny everybody else that they approve. To advance interest and work for the betterment, the betterment of all injured and disabled veterans. To uplift the growth and prosperity of humanity with activities such as volunteering services, providing health and social assistance. To represent the Muslim American veterans in beneficial interactions with other military veteran associations and U.S. Veterans Administration and other entities of the United States government. To promote patriotism and civic responsibility in the Muslim American community. To establish, to stimulate a feeling of mutual devotion, helpfulness, and comradeship among all veterans. This is our purpose. So please join us as uh, we work to make Marvel strong and as Marvel participates and help to make the community strong and as we help to continue to make the Mars care strong. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am Abdul Rahman Sharif. Yeah, he's a, uh, that's my, that's my, uh, he was my mentor. Uh, some of you know that he, he physically saved my mother's life. She was about to be shot in the chest at close range, right in the heart. And he was a teenager at the time. I was just six years old and I'm just watching. And he jumped in out of nowhere 
pushed the rifle down and she ended up still getting shot in that vital area, uh, she was shot in the leg. And I fell in love with him. I didn't know how to explain it at that time, I was just young. And that's why I followed him to the nation and, and, and where I'm at now, uh, based on that, that as well. Thank a lot for him. I want to now bring up a brother that spent almost four decades as a fireman, retired as an assistant chief in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. We want to bring up our dear brother. He's in uh, Florida now. Uh, Bashir Rahman. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. With the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, merciful, benefactor, merciful redeemer, we thank Allah for the leadership that he has provided for us in our community. And I especially want to thank uh, our president, Ortho D. Muhammad II, and his family, and all of the believers that are working hard, the mosque cares, to continue these initiatives and efforts that uh, Imam Muhammad started for us. Most of us remember that it was shortly after 9-11 uh, the attack that took place in New York, that Imam Muhammad skillfully, and I say masterfully, decided that we need to start a program that shows that we have Muslims who have devoted their lives uh, for the safety uh, and integrity of this country uh, in both police, fire, EMS, and the military. And I always like to uh, thank him for doing that because for a lot of us during that period of time that put us in you know a certain situation as being Muslims you know people were looking at a strange so we started uh, a program by which we would interact with uh, the officials in many of the cities to begin to show that we supported this country we supported this flag we supported this constitution I always like to share a little story that I had in coming into the fire service because uh, again I came in during the Nation of Islam and many of you who remember the time of the Nation of Islam what was it that was going to happen with the mothership how was America going to be destroyed by the during that period of time yeah bombs fire bombs right they was going to be dropping fire from the sky from the mothership so I went to the minister at that time uh, unfortunately, he was not able to make the transition to the new leadership, but I appreciate what he did for me. I asked him, I said, Brother Minister, I said, I don't want to be fighting against the law now. If the law is going to destroy America by fire, I don't want to be out there trying to put out fires. So he, he looked at me and said, well, brother, how much money are they going to pay you? And I told him, he said, brother, you take that job. So I thank Brother Minister for doing that for me. Alhamdulillah. But again, what I want to say is uh, we recognize that after 9-11, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the, the ability to, to honor the believers in uniform was to show that we supported this country. There uh, was a series of articles that appeared in the Muslim Journal. I don't know if many of you remember that, where he showed the pictures of uh, firefighters and those and. I will say after the firefighters and police officers, because those were basically the first responders that uh, responded during that particular situation. And then afterwards uh, came the military. But I, uh, I have to take my hat off to my brothers in the military because they have taken this movement and went forward and, and made it even more successful. So uh, again, as I have acknowledged, and I know the time is that in essence, I want to again thank the mosque cares for continuing this effort and we want to continue to support this program and also all of the initiatives that the mosque cares sponsors. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Thank you, Rahman. I want to read another quote from Imam. He mentioned uh, Imam was asking questions shortly after 9-11. Uh, this is the question was, it, was, it said, you are very patriotic, aren't you? And this is the man's answer. Only when I think it pleases God am I very patriotic. The essence of the American life that brought the pioneers to America, seeking religious freedom and democracy, contains aspirations that Muslims can identify and share with other Americans. 
I think those things are the sacred destiny of man. So when it comes to promoting